Hey guys, it's Jamie, and I am back with another spooky season haul. Um, this time I'm just gonna do like um, Target and Walmart together, and I think I want to do Walmart first because I haven't really gotten in a lot from there because they haven't really had anything out yet. Um, but first, I want to show this beautiful jack-o'-lantern fabric that they had. Um, I'm gonna make some spooky masks um, for the spooky season and beyond because it's always Halloween in our family. Um, I really love that though and um, if you guys are looking for masks I'm probably gonna start making more um, pretty soon so um, just look out I have a Facebook page um, called Disheveled Crafting, and that's where I'm gonna post like the things that I make and sell. So just if you wanna like me there, and I have like a VIP type group that um, I know a lot of crafters are doing now to sell their stuff. Um, anyway, back to the haul. Um, so I always get my daughter's stuff, and I got she picked this out. She's picked out the sparkly spider. And they had these cute leggings for kids. Um, showing pretty good. And it's weird because after I bought these, anytime I went back, they've been gone. There's no more. And then she also picked out this. Too cute to spook. And also from Walmart, we got this cute little doll head. It's so creepy cute. And what I want to do is just put like a tea light, um, non-flammable of course, uh, little light in there. And I thought that would be cute. Um, we also got this for my daughter. I always get her some of these like, um, are they cling? Yeah, window cling things every year because she enjoys putting them on the windows herself. So on to Target. Um, pretty much um, every spooky outfit for kids they have, we bought that child because <laughs> Target always, always has the best stuff. But here's one of the shirts that we got. It's really cute. Um, we got her the bat wing dress. She wore that for her school's picture day. So I can't wait to see how those turn out. Um, anyway, on to the other stuff. They have like their spooky um, paper plates out. I just thought I would show that real quick. Oh, I did get one other thing from Walmart. Let's see. Woo. I thought this was pretty cute. This little box sign. Anything you can do, I can do deader. So cute. Um, so Target, I, this is something that I really wanted. It is a tombstone that has a silvery rest in peace sign. It has like the cute little baker's twine hanger and it comes with a chalk. I thought this would be really good to put in my kitchen, my spooky kitchen to, um, like if we have stuff that we need from the grocery store, people can just, you know, write it on there. Um, also, let me get these going. They have some really cute fabric um, covered pumpkins this year. Um, I think I got three of the, all together of the spider web. Um, but these are really cute for a dollar. These are from a dollar spot. I get most, I get just like so much stuff from the dollar spot, especially right at the beginning of the season. Cause you know, that's where they put stuff first. And then I got this one, this little guy right here. So cute. And then this one, they have like this, um, like spooky jungle um, scene this year. And I mean, it could have been last year too, I don't know. Um, but going along with that, last year, I tried so hard to find like the spooky, um, like succulents and holders, and like the creepy plants that kind of look like Audrey too. But I actually scored two this year. Um, I got this one, which I think is so cute. 
and it has like a little bone wrapped up in the back that makes me think of, you know, the spooky jungle. And then I also got this bat. And it has like the purple. I'm glad this doesn't have those like loose stones in it. I also got this from the dollar spot. Um, it's a three count of tabletop chalkboards. I just thought that was pretty neat. And okay. the dollar spot has the cutest little notebooks and stuff like that um, every season, but their, um, their Halloween ones are the absolute best. And my daughter loves the witch thing, the theme they have this year. And I also got these from the dollar spot. I got this little guy. Look at his tummy. His little cape. He's just like one of those um, shelf sitters. They got the, their bums are like, has like a hard plastic disc. And they're, they've got like some heavy weight bean bag kind of stuff in there at the bottom to keep them sitting. And I also got the kitty. Um, there's one I'm missing. I think it's like a little witch. I'm going to have to keep looking for that. And so their Halloween pails buckets this year, they have that cute little witch and it's pink and that's my daughter's current favorite color. And they also had a blue one I got, but I don't know where my daughter will put it. She takes things off and I'll tell her, just wait, honey, let me, let me haul it first. And she's like, nope, it's mine. And then she's gone. And this is something I don't think I'm going to see again because um, tumblers are like, I don't know what it is. People just love tumbler sets. I know I do. And I found these Nightmare Before Christmas ones. They glow in the dark. They have like the little straws. Um, they're made by Zach. And I love like their stuff. Let me show closer. And you can see on there what they if I can get it to focus what they all look like anyway these are really cute and I'm a sucker for tumblers especially the Starbucks ones um I think September 22nd is when the Starbucks releases and I'm gonna be so there looking for them anyway so another target thing that I have been obsessing over on Instagram are these little mini potion bottles and I have not found a single one and I also want the little um, the little holders like the little shelves that kind of I guess go with them um, and I freaked out because I was able to find if I didn't just break one both of them at two different targets so there is that one and I feel like they're pretty well made. They're $5 in a dollar spot. And I think my husband is overtaking this one. So maybe I should find a second one because I want it from our kitchen. Um, he's going to, he, he figured out that putting a Blu-ray in here really highlights it. and makes it look really cool for, you know, the horror buddies and stuff. So I may not get that back. And then the other one is this one it says wicked potions um i'm not usually a fan of like brown wood colors but i like the way this one looks it's like a lot lighter than a lot of them it's almost gray i like the whole gray wood look so this is almost there like i said they're five dollars but i am obsessed with those little potion they're not the bigger potion bottles they're tiny and very slender um and they have like um, like little craft items, glitter, um, skulls, and bones, and witches' brooms. Like it's just oh my gosh, it's amazing. And I'm so upset that I cannot find them, but I'm gonna keep looking. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you like any of this stuff, let me know. And if you have found it, let me know. Especially those little bottles. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Happy spooky season!